Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about IO file management, which means input output file management. And the concept that we're going to discuss about is RAID, which is redundant array of independent disks. So what is RAID? Well, RAID is a way of storing the same data in different places on multiple hard disks. This is used to protect the data in case of a drive failure. So if you store data on, at multiple places, then in case if one drive fails, then at least we have the data on the second one. Also used for performance purposes as well, where the read and write can be done parallelly. So let's talk about it. Now there are different RAID levels available. However, for this tutorial series, we are going to discuss only a few of them. Uh, there are two types of RAID levels. One is standard and second is nested. So the standard ones are RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 2, RAID 3. Uh, there are more as well, but like I said, we'll discuss these ones in terms of standard RAID levels. For nested, we'll only discuss RAID 10. Okay, so let's see what RAID 0 is. So in RAID 0, the data is striped or spread into multiple disks. So let's say we, we have disk 0 and disk 1. Uh, this data, which is A1, A2, so you can see that it's been spread rather than saying A1, A2, A3, A4, and up until A8 on the same disk, we're kind of spreading the, disk, the data into two disks, which is A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6. Okay, so how it helps is this technique allows parallel reading and writing of the data. It also offers performance, but not fault tolerance. Why? Because if one of the disks fails, then, you know, you've lost the data. So that's why you definitely get performance because you can read the data parallelly. Uh, like if you want this A1, A2 data, you can read A1 from disk zero and A2 from disk one. Uh, so that's good for performance, but then not for fault tolerance because if one of the disks fails, then you just lose the data. Next one up is mirroring. So in this configuration, uh, data is duplicated on two or more drives. So it at least have two drives that duplicate the data storage. So as you can see that we have A1, A2, A3, A4 on disk zero, and the same exact copy is being uh, added to the disk one as well, right? So can you guess how it can help us? Well, it definitely helps us in terms of data security as we have a backup in case one disk fails. So it offers redundancy. Redundancy means surplusness. So it offers redundancy by adding another drive as a backup. So if one of the drive fails, at least we have the second one. Okay, uh, we, also have, we also have RAID 2, which basically uses the striping across the disk, but with some disks that store the error checking information. And RAID 2 has no advantages over RAID 3, so it's no longer used, so we're not gonna discuss that. So let's move on to RAID 3. So RAID 3 uses striping, but dedicates one drive for storing parity information. So as you can see that the data is striped on disk zeros, disk one and disk two. So A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, then B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6. So just like your uh, RAID zero where the striping is done, in this technique also the striping is done. Uh, however, there's an extra drive, there's an additional drive which is used to store the parity information, which means equality information. So information about these three, so from A1 to A3 is stored over here, from A4 to A6 is stored over here, so four to six, and then for B1 to B3 is stored here, and then B4 to B6 is stored here, okay? Now comes the nested uh, RAID level, which is RAID 10. There are more as well. Like I said, we'll discuss this one. So this is a combination of RAID 1 and RAID 0. And can you recall what was RAID 1? Yes, RAID 1 is uh, RAID 1 is mirroring and RAID 0 is striping. So it combines RAID 1 plus RAID 0, which is mirroring and striping. So the data is striped and then stripes are mirrored. So take a look at this. RAID 0 is what? It is striping, correct? So first, look at the colors, right? So A1, A2, so data is being striped, which means spread. So A1 and then A2, A3 and then A4, A5 then A6, A7, A8. 
So it's been striped. So that's why it says red zero. It's, it's getting striped. The dark yellow is getting striped first. And then each stripe is getting mirrored. So now you can see it's getting mirrored. So red one means mirroring. So A1, A1, A3, A3, A5. And similarly, A2, A2, A4, A4. So it's getting mirrored. So first the data is striped, these dark yellows, and then it's mirrored, so the light yellow, okay? All right.